time. Hey everyone, welcome back to CA Talks, a podcast for students by students. Today we're going to be talking about opportunities throughout the upcoming year for juniors and possibly seniors. So strap in, it's going to be a scary ride. So, as my co-host beautifully put, we will be talking about opportunities, uh, upcoming opportunities like their applications and whatnot. Um, and we're going to specifically be going over eight opportunities um, through this bucket, like we'll randomly pick to keep it fun and exciting. So when, we know what we're talking about, but we don't know what we're going to talk about. Um, but of course, there are more than eight opportunities. So make sure you do your own research if you are curious. So let's, let's pick this. I'm excited. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I'm coffee. terrified. And it's Team Political Forum. So Team Political Forum is an organization that is works with the city of Coconut Creek, um, where you will volunteer and help contribute to like forums where teens can talk to local politicians. And so you will be working with like the mayor of Coconut Creek and the commissioner and whatnot. So it's definitely a good opportunity for service hours and of course to meet like people uh, and to network and whatnot. So uh, I think it's what like October 11th is when they're you can start doing it so it's definitely a good opportunity for people out there for juniors and seniors alike they actually had a really scary theme that last year of stranger things right um so you know who knows what the theme is going to be this year but if it's something that you're really interested in why not get it on it all right all right, all right i guess to pay. Oh, you want to pay i want to put my my hand in the oh anyways Next up is a Disney Dreamers, y'all. So I can talk a little bit about Disney Dreamers. So it is started by the Walt Disney Company, and it's about 100 ambitious and goal-driven students uh, across the United States. And they set you up for four days all the way up to Disney World so you can learn from entrepreneurs and gain skills in the industry. So if y'all are really interested in this, mind you, when this episode is coming out, uh, the deadline is going to be in just two weeks. So get on that ASAP because this is a really good opportunity and it's free and it's too good to pass up. All right. Okay, short and simple. I like that, Angie. We love the live. I'll pick the next topic, I guess. Give me a second. <laughs> and it's a uh, YLI slash YLS, which if you don't know, they are Technically, I don't think they're fly-ins, but I call them fly-ins because they will so fly place. you into a college. Um, I think that Y, or I always confuse them, YLI is the one open to all applicants and YLS is open to Hispanic applicants. That is open. Might be the, hold on. Yeah, it's the, um... YLI is open to Hispanic. Yeah, YLI is open to Hispanic. Look, y'all, school, we got amnesia, so, like, oh it's very scary. It's because, um, <laughs> it's because it was, we were in the dark, I forgot. We were in the dark. <laughs> Okay, um, so right, as I was saying, it is, the application deadline is obviously, like, not figured out yet. I know that for while I, last year, it was in February that it was due, and then I think YLS was, like, due in April or uh, March for, like, the first round. Um, and of course, it's a good opportunity to go to a college, and they will, like, have workshops for you to, like, understand the college environment, and I think they help out with, like, other things like, um, college applications and whatnot, so it's definitely a good opportunity. Uh, I think last year for YLI, you had the option to choose between U Chicago and USC and I think why else you had to go to USC if you got it. Okay. Next up. You can pick the next topic if you want. This is it's only like three papers in here y'all so like bear with me. We're bearing. Oh my gosh, it's Y Y G S. What's that? Um yeah, I did it, actually. So YYGS is this incredible opportunity. You go up to y the Yale University up in New Haven, Connecticut. Um, and it's also, uh, they give need-based financial aid. So if you are low income like me, you can get a majority to Fulbright scholarship. It's about 600 students. And so you're going to do a track. So I did the politics, law, and economics track. And so I learned about the implications of AI and whether or not I can get me an AI boyfriend in the future. Um... <laughs> Look, y'all, it's hard out here already. So if you are interested in this opportunity, it you should you should look into the the Snapchat. The yeah. Snapchat AI? Yeah. It's no. cheaper. It's boring. It's not gonna fill any like void in my soul. Did you so you actually like you wrote I, about I, an AI boyfriend? <laughs> I wish, no. They were talking about something like AI like committing like self destruction. 
<laughs> about mm -hmm. Yale. They were talking about that. Actually, he would so know what's actually going on with AI. We're kind of confused right now, and um, whether or not they could take us over right now is like up to debate. So whether or not AI could actually be smarter than humans, that's up to you, the audience. Um, yeah, that's very spooky and scary. <laughs> Anyways, so Young University, y'all, get on this ASAP. Uh, their early application deadline is going to be November 1st, and for regular decision, it's going to be January 10th, 2024. So get on that. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm a little startled. <laughs> that was a lot to take in. Um, but thank you for the information. <laughs> so the next topic is the NIA project. Oh, the NIA project's so fun. Um, the NIA project is something you can apply to, which I think the application opens up in November, and you can be a junior or a senior to apply. Um, and pretty much what it is, is you will go through like a bunch of, you'll go through three or so, um, like not sessions, but like applications where like obviously in, like your final and semi and whatnot. And throughout that, like it's working towards to get like, to become a finalist, right? And as a finalist, you'll get access to like network marketing opportunities, um, college app workshops, and of course, like the big the big thing about it is going to another country, and like and going to it for like that cultural enrichment. I think the last like group that went went to Ghana, which I think we had our seniors, one of our seniors did it, and then I think the next group is going to Morocco. So it's definitely like good to apply and. You, you know, you won't just be getting that, like, going to another country. It's also going to help with that college. So I definitely would recommend applying. I forgot to say that in order to learn about getting, like, an AI boyfriend for Yale, you have to be a current junior. Uh, I'm sorry, seniors. You'll have to figure it out in the future when you go off to college. All right, next up. <laughs> oh, okay, dope. So it is the Barton Athena Summer Innovation Institute. And I did do this program this summer as well. They gave me a full ride scholarship, so don't be afraid of the ticket price, like $9,000. Like, I didn't have to pay a single cent of that. And it was an awesome opportunity. If you are female identifying or non binary, you can head up to uh, Barnard's campus up in New York City, by the way. Um, they took us on a cruise, and yeah, they paid for everything, so that was really fun. They also take us, uh, took us to the Governor's Island. And at the end of the program, they also have this late night party, so you can stay up to like midnight and just like, they have good music too. Like, it's not like, it's not lame out there. They, Barna has good parties. Um, so yeah, if you are interested in this program, you can be a junior or a senior. So, hey, seniors get on this. Juniors also get on this. It's a really great opportunity and you're going to learn so, from like such extraordinary individuals. I did, uh, learn about like venture capitalists, I learned entrepreneurship skills, and I learned how to deliver an important pitch to actually the director of the pre-college like programs at Barnard. So get on that. Barnard's the women's college, right? Yes, it so is a women's college. Do you have to be like a woman to do this? No, you just have to be like identified with just being like a female identifying femme, anything like that. If you're non-binary and you're just down for it, go that? for it. Did you say that? Yeah. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. He has like short term memory. We actually learned about this in my psychology class, and it's called working memory, and his memory is not working right now, so. <laughs> Anyways, the next topic is the Princeton Journalism. Oh my god, I can't read. Princeton Summer Journalism Program, which, if you were to guess, it is a summer journalism program with Princeton. Um, it would, you have to be a junior in high school to apply, so you can't, so for seniors, this is not applicable to you. Um, and yeah, like it's a journalism program. What can I say? Like, if you are interested in writing or journalism, I mean, apply. If you're not, maybe still apply. Maybe you can get something out of it. Um, and again, it's with Princeton. Again, it is like, it is like the NEAR project where it's like through multiple like applications, like you become a semi finalist and a finalist. And I think it was due in like March or April, like the first application to keep that on. Some of these aren't like super recent and some of them are coming up soon. So always like do more research if you want to know more about these. Um, because they're going to have like, different applications um, and whatnot. So do you know. Get on that because it's only about 40 students that get invited to come to the Princeton's campus every year. So, all right. I'll do my last one. Oh, why? 
I don't know. Okay. I don't, even, I don't remember the last one. Yes. Oh, I don't remember the last one. Though. Okay. It's the Cleveland Clinic Internship for my pre-med people out there. This one's for you. Uh, again, I think I think this one's open to juniors and seniors as well. And it is, again, a summer internship. So you'll apply, and over the summer, you'll be working with the Cleveland hospitals or whatever. And you'll get to shadow doctors and nurses, do research, and like learn more about like what you do in hospitals. And it's obviously just like a good opportunity to like learn and like put it on the college apps and say like I actually like know what it's like like and I'm still interested because they like to see that like you have interest in what you're gonna study, so it's definitely a very good opportunity. So I would say if you're interested in anything pre med or whatever, you should definitely apply. All right. So before we end this very creepy episode, we want to tell you something that really scares me, which are scholarship and deadlines. Um some like you know keep in mind css opened up like october 1st and by the time this comes out which is like october 12th that's already like 13 no 13 i can't do that 11 days that you could have done that same thing with bright futures i think also Just opened up. Mm-hmm. and um fsu's early action application will be due in like three days so don't get too frightened okay like it's scary to like keep like you know like have all this stuff on your mind on top of your classes but just remember, like, you will be fine. Just make sure you're on top of your stuff. So, you know, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. So that's everything. I think that's debatable. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm, let me stop. So, I hope, <laughs> but for real, get on that. I hope you enjoyed this spooktastic. No, this joke. I hope you enjoyed this amazing episode of the CIA podcast. And um, that's everything we have for y'all. Yeah. Good night. Happy Halloween, y'all.